everyone and happy Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness me, I cannot believe it's Christmas Eve today. It's literally blowing my mind. This is, I have to admit, one of my favourite, favourite days of the year because I feel like I actually prefer Christmas Eve to Christmas Day because you've got the anticipation, all the excitement, everyone's in the mood, everyone's feeling the festive spirit. You're like so excited to give your gifts tomorrow, so excited to see what you're going to receive. It's just such a magical day. So I am in the best, best mood. And it is a beautiful blue sky winter's day. You can see the sun shining through our wisteria there. It's just absolutely stunning. And it's always my favorite thing, seeing how the sun it hits the tree. Oh, it is feeling very magical this morning. I'm also feeling very cozy. I've just got on my favorite little Burberry cape. I feel like I've not had a chance to wear it this month as much as I wanted to, partially because it's actually been too cold. I've needed like really thick wintry coats, but I've got my Burberry cape on today, which I just absolutely adore. And I've got a really, really lovely day plan. So we're going out for a walk later, which I'm really excited about. We kind of do this like tradition with my family where on everyone's first day off and like everyone's first day of Christmas holiday, we do a big walk to the Winchester Ivy, which is literally my favorite Ivy. I know I literally went to the Ivy yesterday in Bath, but the one in Winchester, I have to admit, is my favorite. One thing I really like about the Ivy is that I do feel like you've got similarities. It's kind of similar, I guess, in a way to like Soho House, but obviously much less exclusive um, in the sense of like it's kind of similar ish the same. Not exactly, though. One thing I will say is that I did love the Ivy in Bath. But I feel like the Winchester Ivy is one of the best Ivies out there. I've been to so many now. I've been to ones in London, like Kensington. The Covent Garden one is up there as one of the best ones as well. The Covent Garden one, the Chelsea one. I've been to the one in Guildford, the one in Bath, the one in Windsor. Um, where else have I been? Goodness me. I feel like I've literally been to almost all the Ivies in the UK. I could probably do an Ivy bingo. And I have to admit, I think Winchester is one of the best Ivies out there. I would definitely recommend a visit. So we've got a big old walk planned this morning. And then we're going to have a lovely breakfast at the Ivy. Literally all of the family. So I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a table for eight booked there is always a lot of us but it's a really really lovely tradition and we've done quite a lot now I think it actually started the first year of lockdown when we couldn't see people indoors but you could see them when you went out for a meal or something like that I can't remember it's so bizarre looking back on all of the lockdowns and the different rules that we abided by and the rules that were enforced on us that were so normal at the time and looking back you're like hang on we were allowed to go to the ivy for a meal together but we weren't allowed to meet indoors like it was such a bizarre one so um yeah I think it started during lockdown and it's just continued every year which has been really really nice but oh my goodness me it just blows my mind that it's Christmas Eve today and that December has gone so fast and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Vlogmas has actually gone so, so quickly. I was a little bit nervous in November when I kind of decided that I was gonna do full Vlogmas because I've never done full Vlogmas before. I've always kind of done my own version of Vlogmas and I would usually do five videos a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So those extra two videos might not sound like a lot. I was so nervous about it, about how I was going to kind of like manage because I am by myself. Like I'm not someone that's got a video editor, an assistant, um, a financial manager, a coordinator, like it's literally me by myself. The only other person I ever work with is my manager who's kind of like a completely separate entity. So she doesn't really have anything to do with like my YouTube or my editing or my scheduling or anything like that. So it was literally me filming, editing, planning, uploading, like, and I was so, so nervous about it because it's obviously such a huge task, but I'm really, really proud of myself for being able to provide for the entirety of December. I've not missed a single day's upload. I've not missed a single day's vlogging and it's been so much fun. It definitely helped that I started a little bit early in November because it meant that I could schedule in those Sunday day offs and I definitely think I needed at least one day off a week. And there was a couple of times throughout the month where I just didn't really feel like vlogging that day and because I was a little bit ahead of myself, I was able to give myself and like grant myself the day to not film. So obviously as we've been progressing throughout the month, I've been like closer and closer with the kind of like filming versus up uploading day um so yeah it's been a really really enjoyable month and oh my goodness i'm getting emotional i just want to say a big thank you why am i getting emotional my goodness me i just want to say a big thank you to you guys because i wouldn't <laughs> honestly this is 
so silly, but I wouldn't be where I am today without you, without all of your support, all of your kind messages, whether you've seen me in person, sent me a DM, commented on a video, like it really does mean the world. Because I know that I'm such a like small fish in such a big pond with other like YouTubers. I know I'm not the biggest, I don't have the biggest team, like I don't have the best equipment or anything like that, but I just love love creating content for you on youtube and over on my instagram as well my festive shots are just my favorite that i've ever done this year and i take christmas content so seriously like i love creating christmasy shots i always love going around london to like the best displays and like the best you know locations and just creating the most amazing festive content so thank you so so much for the love on here the love on my instagram and just for continuing to support me because this year has just been the most insane year of my entire life i've had so many opportunities that i never thought i'd be able to get being able to do this as a job is something that I do not take for granted and I literally pinch myself at every single day and I literally would not be here if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't be working with my dream brands, I wouldn't be able to create this amazing content, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for you. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for supporting me, for watching all the videos, for your comments, for your likes, for your shares. You are literally my world. I don't know where I would be without you and... I feel like we've become so much closer over December as well. Some things that I never would normally share, that you'd never normally get to see. Like, I feel like December, this December has just been amazing and I'm feeling so, so grateful. A little bit emotional, but I'm literally about to become a blubbering mess. So let's quickly change the subject back to my walk because I need to leave in a little bit. But before I do, I actually have a new delivery to unbox with you that I thought I could wear for the walk today. You know what I'm like, the second I have something new in, I'm like, I just wanna wear it right here right now take the tags off and let me wear it out of the store I was always that person actually when we were little you know when you'd buy new shoes as a kid and I would always tend to be like can I wear them out the shop and she'd be like go on then I am just that person so I've had a really exciting new delivery that's going to keep me really nice and snugly warm it's still a little bit chic for the walk so I do feel like this is like a lovely country walk but I still like to look nice like I've done my hair I've done my makeup I've just got a nice little all black outfit on so I thought that this could complete the look so let's head upstairs and unbox that so i've actually had a new delivery arrive from house of cb which you guys know i'm such a huge fan of and i have some other pieces from there that i wanted to show you later but this is perfect for the walk this morning so i thought that we could unbox it and try it on together it's this really gorgeous kind of like leather feel aviator jacket and i do love an aviator coat especially at this time of year i find them so cozy and so easy to style they're great when you want to like look nice but it's still a fairly casual kind of thing like obviously we're just going for a lunch it's not something really like ott we're going for a walk and then for lunch you know i don't need to be wearing my best coat i want something really nice and cozy but still it looks very elevated and very chic it's got this really gorgeous like shearling lining to it and i love the color of it i've not seen anything like this online it's this really gorgeous almost like olivey green i feel like this might be the kind of city girls alternative to a barber if maybe a barber's a bit too country for you and a little bit too like country life this i feel like is a much more chic version because it's got the really gorgeous olivey kind of waxy feel to it and the olive green color is absolutely stunning but it's a little bit more chic and a little bit more kind of like wearable for me so let's try it on because this could be the perfect country walking attire oh my goodness me i am in love with this this is just absolutely perfect now i always get asked questions about sizing on house of cb because it can be a little bit confusing i always go for like my summer dresses for a large so i decided to go for a large in this and i kind of love the oversized look of it i have had to roll the cuffs in i'm not entirely sure if they're designed to be like that but i kind of love how it looks because you can really see the like teddy aspect the like shearling lining so i really really like it because i do have quite short arms as you can see even with them rolled up a little bit they're a little bit long on my arms but I don't think going down to a medium would change that and I love the oversized fit of the body I feel like this is just the perfect kind of aviator style I've had a couple of aviators in the past that have not really been that oversized look and I do feel like it really adds to the chicness of the outfit and I just love the shearling detail I think it's absolutely stunning the olive tone as well look at how stunning the color is it's just so gorgeous it really is the first kind of country attire that I think I've ever seen House of CB do which is 
is really, really nice to see. Maybe they're going to kind of incorporate a bit more of that country lifestyle because I know a lot of us are really turning to the country life. Ever since moving down to South Hampshire, I feel like my wardrobe has changed so, so much and I'm definitely incorporating more of these kind of like tones, more of these practical outfits and this coat is just such a perfect in-between of chic and stylish but very countryside appropriate. So I think I can cut off, I don't know if you can see, I've still got the tag on. I can cut that off because I'm definitely going to be keeping it. So yeah, in terms of sizing, I've gone for a large. If you want that oversized look, I think it's perfect. If you want it a little bit more fitted, then maybe size down to a medium, but I am absolutely obsessed. Well, I think we can all agree that the best thing about being at the 24th of December is it means we get to open our 24th door. Oh, it's a little teddy. Oh, how cute is this? I don't think I've actually shown you my lint chocolate calendar as well as all the beauty calendars. I feel like it's every girl's rite of passage for their boyfriend to buy them a chocolate advent calendar as well. So a lovely little teddy bear. Mm. So good. <laughs> Now, another thing that I get super, super excited about for this time of year is to get out my diary for the year ahead and start planning and prepping and getting organized. And I always try and kind of dedicate a day over the Christmas period to get out my diary and basically have a bit of a me planning day. Now, I know I've already unboxed with this with you and gone through this with you in a video a couple of months ago, but this is the carry coat diary and it's just my favorite favorite yearly planner i think i've had one for the past three or four years maybe since 2019 i think or 2020 they are just so beautiful this is the limited edition one that she's done this year i'll leave it linked down below if you do want to get it yourself and treat yourself to it but what i kind of do is maybe one day on like the 28th of the 29th i basically like to just sit down and kind of fill out all of these beginning pages it's got so many handy pages to really help you look back on the year gone look at your goals for the next year so like acknowledge your achievements that you've received over the 2022 and look at your goals for 2023 which i really really like we've got so many pages even like as i said if you're a creator like me all of your kind of like social stats things like that your money goals break down by each month i think it also does a bit of a yeah kind of like a quarterly goal and then when you get into january and each individual month it's got like monthly goals that you could look and look into you can look at your month overview and then what i really like as well actually is the day that it has so it literally breaks your day down so i really like to time block my days go through notes for that day things that i need to do look at my like overall goals and i just find it really therapeutic to go through and to do that before the new year and to do it over the christmas period because i feel like it really sets me up so that as soon as january 1st hits i'm like ready for the new year ready for my new goals i know what i'm going to be doing so yeah so excited to have that out ready to fill out over the christmas period Right, I am countryside walk ready. I've got the House of CB shearling coat on and I've just paired my little wire cell with it. Let me show you the full outfit because I think it looks really, really cute. I've just done it up and I really like how it looks zipped up as well. And I feel like adding a crossbody is a great way to cinch in that silhouette ever so slightly. I feel like it really, really works just adding the little wire cell bag. This is one of my favorite bags actually with regards to like walks and things like that, winter walks, because it's so great to just to chuck on over a coat and wear cross body of course i've got two pairs of leggings on and my jimmy choo boots which have just been my saving grace i absolutely love them a few of you have asked me about how they are with like mud and like really proper countryside walks and they're fine mud just comes off of them i've worn them quite a lot when we did the um light trials at hilliers it was a little bit muddy and i just cleared them a little clean the next day with some baby wipes and it all came right off so yeah they are just so so perfect for festive wintry walks i'm definitely going to have a boxing day walk planned we have a new year's day walk plan so i'm going to be wearing them a lot over the festive period but a very chic yet very countryside appropriate outfit ready to head to winchester for a lovely breakfast and family event at the ivy The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents are still by the tree They don't mean a thing till he's here with me If you know Bye. 
with a nice hot coffee it was a chilly winter's walk i definitely think i need to invest in some earmuffs because i only seem to have hats and i didn't want to wear a hat today because i keep ruining my hair with them when i came back from bath yesterday oh my goodness my hair was just completely ruined from wearing a hat all day but my ears were freezing so let me know any good places to invest in in earmuffs i definitely think i need a pair but whilst i was out i had a very exciting delivery arrive that i thought that we could unbox together from pixie a little early christmas present from the pixie team which is so so kind of them so i thought that we could unbox and see what is inside oh my goodness me this is so so cute so it says glow all out with pixie achieve party perfection in a flash with these makeup essentials from our newest metallic eyeshadows to our radiant glow giving primer to the delicate shades in our nuance quartet these products will provide you with that iconic pixie glow oh my word i'm so excited to see what is in here because i do actually have quite a few christmas parties still planned for over the christmas and new year's period so i'm going to start with the eye lifts now this is an extremely long wear liquid shadow that leaves a veil of flattering color layer up or mix shades to achieve your desired effect <gasps> these look absolutely stunning so we've got two shades here we've got chiffron and we've got sunset i'm going to give them both a little swatch because these sound absolutely stunning oh my goodness me that is gorgeous so this is the shade sunset it's like a really stunning i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that because i feel like it's very subtle it's just kind of down here this like really lovely sheeny color let's try it chiffron chiffron looks a little bit more kind of like purpley pearlescent oh wow that is gorgeous now these actually they kind of require a little bit more layering than i would say other kind of metallic eye shades that i've used before but that is gorgeous that is going to make the most stunning festive eyeshadow look at the way it sheens in the light that like metallic color oh my goodness me that is just absolutely gorgeous okay next we have the nuance quartet blush quad now this says this creamy powder is formulated with ceramides vitamin e and botanical extracts to hydrate your skin and i know i was talking a lot about this in yesterday's vlog but oh my goodness me I am so dry at the moment. I feel like this cold weather really just affects my skin. So anything moisturizing, anything nourishing is what I love. And these, oh my goodness, these shades are just absolutely stunning. Let me take the plastic off so that you don't just see yourself in the reflection because I have got you on another rather unsure tripods but look at those shades oh my word they're absolutely stunning so we've got these really gorgeous like very pinky shades this is more of kind of a goldy pinky shade a bit more of like a brownie one and then a very bright pink up here and this is just so stunning so we've got blossom sugar rosewood and petal or maybe it's the other way around i always get confused with regards to um when they write it on the back i think surely the pink one must be petal so it must be petal rosewood sugar blossom i think but i really like the look of this um bronzy shade i think that's really lovely that doesn't have a shimmer to it which i think is quite nice because i don't like a bronzer with a shimmer but obviously the pinky shades do so i think they are going to be absolutely stunning to try also love the fact that it has a huge mirror there you are <laughs> it's got a huge mirror which makes it so perfect for when you're traveling because i don't know about you but i'm going to be doing quite a bit of traveling over new years to see like friends and family and relatives and all of that jazz so it's quite nice to have that with me so i think that's a really really lovely one we then have the vitamin c lip brightener which is a tinted lip balm infused with vitamin c to brighten and provide intense moisture i think i have this already yeah i definitely do and i really really like this it's like not really got much color to it at all but it's a perfect one just to apply over what you've already got just to add a little bit of extra moisture and make sure that your lips are lovely and nourished we then have the flawless beauty primer which i have never ever tried before it's a hydrating glow primer 
that sounds amazing i do really love the pixie glow hydrating primer adds radiant looking glow for all skin types i love the sound of that i think that's going to be so perfect for around the christmas period when you just want to look like you've got really lovely natural healthy glowy skin i know in our kind of like trying out christmas outfits and like that video that i did with my h&m haul loads of you loved the skin makeup that i did because it was just so pared back and it just looked like your skin but better and i feel like that is going to be a perfect primer for underneath that so that's really really lovely we then have a large lash mascara and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've never tried mascara from pixie so that will be really really interesting to try it's just in black it's just in black i'm not gonna lie though i am kind of loving my brown eyeshadow from ysl at the moment but i think if i'm looking for more of a party look i definitely need a black mascara and then to go with it we've got a black liner so this is the endlessly silky eye pen and actually i saw a trend the other day on tiktok and it was about how to create a really lovely like winged look with a pen and you basically just kind of smudge the pen on the end and then use your finger to like pull it up so maybe I will give that a try for one of my Christmas parties but such a lovely lovely early Christmas present from Pixie of some really really gorgeous products I'm so excited to try these out for all of my Christmas and festive events especially New Year's Eve I feel like we haven't even had a chance to chat about New Year's Eve yet but I have got some really big New Year's plans I'm actually heading up to Sheffield to see Alex and his family they are all from up north you know he's a northern boy we love a northern boy but we're going up to see them for new year's and we've got a really fun night plan for new year's here we're checking into the three oaks i believe it's called three acres three oaks a lovely hotel up in sheffield we are checking into and having a really lovely new year's night there so i'm going to be doing some really glam makeup i've got a really glam outfit to choose from which speaking of We've got some House of CB dresses to try on to maybe style up for New Year's Eve this year. So I'm going to head upstairs. Let's try on the New Year's Eve dresses and you can help me decide what to wear this New Year's. So let's get into the House of CB order. So obviously we've got the coat, which I'm already obsessed with and had a lot of compliments on actually on our walk this morning but i also picked up a couple of dresses from house of cb for a bit of like christmas and new year's styling so i'm going to need your help i have a few parties planned as well as the big new year's night out so let me know what you think i should wear to each let's get into the unboxing okay so first up is this absolutely stunning number now i thought this was going to be my favorite dress but now that i'm holding it up and now that i have it in person it's a lot more see-through than i thought it was initially i think i do have a slip that i could put on underneath this but i'm not entirely sure how it's designed to be worn because in my head it didn't need a slip but we will style it up and see how it looks but it's this absolutely stunning little mesh dress with the most gorgeous little glitzy glimmery sequin detailing to it i just fell in love when i saw this i thought it was absolutely beautiful there's a lot of design details that i really like about the dress love the fact that it's more of like a square kind of halter neck neckline i think that's really really flattering and love this little crisscross tie back detail that it's got going on i just think it's absolutely gorgeous the kind of dress that just goes so beautifully for new year's eve you can style it up with a little bit more glitz and glam as well i'm thinking my cold gaia bag my manolo heels would look absolutely gorgeous with this so i thought this was such a stunning option for new year's eve well oh my goodness me how stunning is this dress oh wow oh wow it's so so beautiful so i've just got it on with a little strapless slip and i would definitely say the slip is kind of needed underneath which is a shame because it means that you don't get the full detail of the back but i feel like it's so see-through without it i just would not be comfortable wearing it if you're one of those girls and you're loving that very like sheer mesh see-through vibe then total respect to you definitely go for it for me i definitely feel a lot more comfortable with the slip on underneath i think it just looks so so gorgeous love it style with the manolo heels and start up with my colt guy bag i feel like it really adds that extra festive sparkle to the dress but i also love the way that it hits the light and you can just see that really subtle sparkly vibe to it i think this is such a gorgeous number if you have quite a dressed up christmas day or if you're looking for something for new year's like me this is just a really stunning number 
Now the next option is a little bit different for me, but when I saw it online, I just had to pick it up. It's this really gorgeous, like beigey kind of cowl neck dress with this like purple detailing to it. So I didn't actually realize, but basically the lining is purple and that's what's showing through when you see this gorgeous flower detail. It's absolutely stunning. And I loved the color of it. I thought it was just so, so different. And what I really liked about this is that as well as being like a bit of a festive New Year's party dress, I feel like this is also one that you can easily style up throughout the rest of the year so it's not one that's only going to be wearable at this time of year so really really gorgeous just like dipped cowl neck now it's not got adjustable straps so we're going to have to see how it looks on but i love this really deep v that it's got at the back as well i picked all of these dresses up in a large and i fit the summer dresses perfectly in a large so hopefully these are all going to fit absolutely beautifully but i just thought this was another gorgeous number now this dress is stunning but unfortunately it's just too big for me as I said I picked all of these up in a large and even though it fits nicely like around my hips and around my bum up top is just really really big which is such a shame it means the cowl is literally almost giving me a nip slip I'm very very close to flashing you and the back is just very like can you see that it's very gapy which is such a shame and also it's a little bit long so not the one for me but a stunning dress nonetheless if you're taller than me and you want to pick it up in a smaller size I can definitely imagine you a lot of you guys in this dress rocking a new year's christmas party and what's my favorite saying in life if i like it i'll just pick it up in another color so this is the same style dress but in this most stunning champagne -y, silvery color look at that this is a mermaid dress if ever i saw one and i just fell in love with it definitely a lot more festive definitely a lot more seasonal but oh my goodness me this is gorgeous this would also be beautiful if you've got a christmas wedding to attend over the christmas and new year's period because it's just the most stunning dress the way that it catches the light that sheen that it gives is absolutely gorgeous so again it's got the cow neckline and the lovely low back detail and what i really like about this is i feel like you can style this up in a lot of different ways like depending on your accessories that you pair with this depending on your shoes you could make it a little bit more black tie with just some really simple heels and a little clutch bag you could make it very festive with some sparkle i feel like this is a really really versatile dress and a really gorgeous option for new year's eve weirdly this one isn't as big on me i kind of expect it to be like right another one that definitely doesn't work i think part of the reason for the gaping is these annoying tags that they leave on the house of cb dresses and you can't take it off unless you've decided to keep it and i'm undecided about this i really like it but i feel like i i just feel a bit more confident in the all black one i am finding this a little bit low right where my kind of strapless bra is so I feel like if I'm going to be dancing I'm going to be drinking the black one's probably the better option I do love how this goes with the Manolo so just a little green poking out from underneath so I do think this is a lovely option but maybe not the one for me of course if I like it again I'll pick it up in another style so this is the same stunning mermaidy sheeny fabric but in a really gorgeous skirt and I thought this would make a really nice Christmas day outfit I know we've done a lot of Christmas day styling together but one of my favorite things to style up for a really sleek and elegant but still quite festive look it's just a jumper with a gorgeous little slip skirt I thought this was such a stunning material I just had to pick it up in the skirt version as well so this could be a really lovely number for Christmas day I think it's just absolutely beautiful well I think we might have a winner this skirt is just stunning I mean the way that the light hits it the way that it just shimmers Oh my word, I'm absolutely in love with it. I've just chucked it on with a little black roll neck jumper and I've just added my little festive brooch to it because it just looks so, so cute and I love the effect of it. I actually really like having the jumper a bit looser and creating more of like a boxy A-line silhouette, I feel like. It's quite nice to not always do the cinched and waist. I mean, if you wanted to, you could easily do the bra trick, have a little bit more leg showing, but I love 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 the vibe of this i think this is such a gorgeous christmas day option or any kind of like party option if you just want a little bit of festivity but not too much this skirt is stunning again in a large so the large black dress fit the large skirt fit but the two others i would definitely say size down and if you are wanting to pick them up because they're supposed to be really tight fitted and really silhouette -y. so such a shame that those ones didn't fit but this is such a vibe 
would you just look at that golden hour glow coming through the bifold doors i feel like this is my favorite time of day with regards to the christmas tree because it just looks so so magical it does mean that it will be dark within what feels like a matter of minutes so i thought i would make the most of the sunshine and as you can see i've got something rather special out that i've decided i want to do a bit of an early christmas unboxing this is my to me love me gift that you would have seen that i picked up in Harrods when I went to go and see Dior World and I thought we could do a bit of an early Christmas unboxing because I was planning on saving this till Christmas Day but actually I kind of want to wear it now I want to wear it on Christmas I thought it would be really really special to have for all the festivities so I want to unbox it with you guys now well, I'm not entirely sure why I've never thought to use this as a bit of an unboxing setup, but here we are with my little Dior purchase, my To Me Love Me gift. You guys know I always love to do this at this time of year. I feel like it's really important to celebrate your wins, treat yourself and be your own sugar mama. So this is what I picked up when I went to go and visit Dior World in Harrods at the beginning of the month, or well, more in the middle of the month. It feels like so long ago now already, but I believe they said that they still they're still going to have it until maybe the 6th, either the 3rd or the 6th are the two dates I have in my head. So I think you should still have a little bit of time if you do want to pop in. You do have to book um, to go and see Dior World, but it's like free. So it's just free tickets that you need to book just to make sure that they know what numbers they have and there's not too many people in there and stuff. So I thought I would show you what I got. They had such a gorgeous display at the Dior Beauty counter as well. And they were all so friendly and I've never owned one of the Dior Christmas boxes before. So I'm very very excited to unbox this with you guys as a bit of an early Christmas treat. Oh, they've sprayed the entire box with this perfume, which is just making it smell absolutely incredible. This feels like such a bougie unboxing just for me to show you my new Dior perfume. Oh my word. They've literally sprayed all of the packaging so I can just smell it now. It is absolutely incredible. But this is a perfume that I have been eyeing up from Dior for quite a while. And whilst Charlotte and I were in Dior, I was smelling quite a few of them. And there was a, a couple that I was like, oh, it's really nice. Oh, that's quite lovely. And like, I was a little bit unsure. The second I smelled this, I was like, this is the one. So this is Ombre Nuit, which is a amber kind of scented fragrance but it's got pear running through it which is really really interesting so it makes it a little bit less dark and deep it just feels like a really lovely rich scent and look at the bottle oh it's so so cute and i really wanted to make sure that i would be able to wear this over the christmas period because my kind of everyday scent at the moment is Jo Malone's English Pear and Free Chat. I absolutely adore that. It's one of my favourite scents and it's such a lovely daytime scent. But I really wanted something a little bit richer for the evening, but still very me. And I feel like because this has the pear undertones, but it's got the amber kind of top notes, it makes it a very, very wearable evening scent. Oh my goodness, I've just noticed as well that the lid is magnetic. That is so cool. It's such a stunning, stunning bottle. Very like simple, very understated and stripped back, but still just as beautiful and this is going to look so stunning with the rest of my perfume collection so i'm really excited to have that and to be able to unbox it a little bit early so that i have it for the festive period this is definitely going to be my scent of choice over the coming weeks i am so excited to have treated myself to it feels very very special right, well we are almost there with regards to the christmas day prep the fridge is stocked full of meats and cheeses and lots of little picky bits. We've got pork pie, sausage rolls, because I've got a couple of nights where we're going to be hosting here. We've got a games night with some friends and like a drinks and dinner night, which will be so, so lovely. I've pretty much finished all of the wrapping as well. I've got two last things that I need to wrap and then we are completely done. I just need to wrap the things that I picked up at Bath yesterday. I've stocked up the alcohol cupboards. We've got loads of champagne and Baileys and gin and all of the good stuff ready for Christmas. Christmas, which makes me so happy. I forgot to show you actually earlier. You know the um stockings that I showed you that I thought were gonna be a fail? Actually, they've not turned out too bad. Like I think they just look really sweet. So I've got a stocking for each member of my family ready to go for Christmas. And then I just need to wrap the last two presents and we are pretty much done, which makes me so happy to know that everything's wrapped up and everything is ready for Christmas day. Right, 
so the presents are all ready to go and under the tree that's Alex's stocking there and can we just take a moment to look at the difference between my wrapping <laughs> And Alex is wrapping. I mean, as anyone else's partner, as useless as wrapping as mine is. But those are all my gifts ready from Alex. And then we've got gifts for him, for the family, and we have a few more in the other room as well. So I think it is safe to say that we are officially Christmas Day ready. Oh my goodness me, it is so close now. I can almost taste it, but I just want to say again a huge thank you for watching all of the vlogmas videos over the last month and i just want to say how much i appreciate every single one of you thank you for all your support all your love this month and on that note it is time to officially end vlogmas 2022 i really hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you are just as excited about christmas day as i am and i hope you've had the most wonderful festive december for of fun friends and family have the most wonderful christmas day the most wonderful christmas break and i will see you in 2023 goodbye